This is Betty Hughes for CDX Technologies, and we're going to look at how you can use Microsoft Excel to find the latitude and longitude of an address, find the address for a given latitude and longitude, and also calculate the distance between points of latitude and longitude. All of these can be done for long lists of data in Excel, and we'll show you how you can do that too. To find the latitude and longitude of an address, just right-click on any cell in your worksheet and select CDX Locate MP. You can input the address here, like this, and then request latitude and longitude data. Click OK, and the latitude and longitude of the address are returned to the worksheet, separated by a vertical bar. To get data for a long list of addresses, we'll repeat the procedure, but here we'll just input the worksheet cell location of the address. The first address in our list is in worksheet cell A2. We'll request latitude and longitude data again, and latitude and longitude are returned for the first address. Now all we have to do is copy and paste this cell along the entire list, and latitude and longitude are returned for all the addresses. If an address is invalid, you see an error message, so this is also a good way to clean up an address list before you use it. Let's go to another worksheet where we already have latitude and longitude data, but need to get address information. We just right-click again, select CDX Locate MP, and for the first point in our list, the latitude is in worksheet cell A2, and longitude is in cell B2. We can request street, city, state, or zip code information. So for this example, let's select street information, click OK, and the nearest street address is returned to the worksheet. We can also select state information, like this, Then like we did before, we can just copy and paste these cells, and you can see both street address and state being returned for the entire list. In this last worksheet, we're going to calculate the distance between points of latitude and longitude. Just right-click on a worksheet cell, but this time we'll select CDX Distance 2WP. Point 1 data is in cells A3 and B3, and point 2 data is in cells C3 and D3. Select the distance returned in miles, click OK, and the distance between the first two points in our list is about 47 miles. Again, we just copy and paste to get distance data for the entire list. These are just a few of the examples of how our Microsoft Excel add-in, CDX Zipstream, can help you get and analyze location-based data. For a free 30-day trial, please visit us at www.cdxzipstream.com.